Hello everyone, my name is Krati Gupta. I'm an assistant professor and guide group of institution. In this video, we will be studying about the graph traversal technique and we will be studying about DFS that is depth for search. The content which we will be studying in this video will be what is graph traversal, what is depth for search technique, DFS algorithm, example and a pseudocode. So first with the graph traversal technique, a graph traversal, what do you mean by graph traversal? Traversal means it's a process of visiting each and every node. Okay, graph traversal means visiting all the nodes of the graph. Now, this visiting is done uh, means that we need to access each vertex of a graph only once okay in an undirected graph we are traversing each and every vertex only once now this graph traversal can be done in two ways that is first is the breadth first search second is the depth first search now this traversal is classified into two types by the order in which these vertices are visited on the basis of the visiting of the, these vertices, this classification is being done. Both breadth first search and depth first search traversal give rise to a tree, spanning tree. Spanning tree means a non-connected graph. Okay. When a node X is visited, it is labeled as visited and it is added to the tree. And if the traversal goes from particular node X to particular node Y, then uh, this will be called as x is a parent of y or you can say if a traversal got to node x from certain node y then we will be saying y as a parent node of this x or x is a child of y okay so these are the graph traversal techniques now we will be studying our first graph traversal technique as depth first search depth first search as the term says depth in this traversing of a graph is done in a depth word motion depth uh, uh, from a particular vertex we are going to a, we are visiting all the vertices by going in a depth of this particular vertex then in a depth of this particular current vertex like this we are traversing each and every vertex of a graph now to remember which vertex we have to go in a depth we are using a stack data structure. So to implement depth first search algorithm, stack data structure is used. We are using stack to remember to get to the next node to start a search when we occur to the dead end in any iteration. For example, suppose this is our graph G. We are for starting for with the starting with the traversal, we can start with any vertex as a starting vertex so i have taken zero as a starting vertex i have labeled these vertexes with zero one two three like this so i have taken zero now we can start with the zero now we are going to the depth of zero so for going uh, in depth of any vertex we will be moving towards its child now the zero is connected adjacent nodes are one four and two so we can start with any adjacent vertex i have started with one so we have gone from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1. Then adjacent of 1, adjacent of 1 is 0 and 4 in which 0 is already visited. So we will be going for 4. So from 1 we have gone for 4. Now adjacent of 4 is 0, 1 and 2 in which 0 and 1 are already visited. So we will be going towards 2. Now adjacent of 2 is 0, 9, 10 and 5. So, I have chosen first 5. So, when I am going towards 5, now this 5, from 5 we have gone depth till 6. 5 is adjacent are 7, 2 and 6 in which 2 is already visited. So, we will be going for 6 or 7. So, I have gone for 6. From 6, now adjacent of 6 is only 5. 5 is already visited. But as, no, as we occur to the dead end, now we don't have any of the vertex adjacent to 6 so what we will be going we will be backtracking we will be backtracking to the calling vertex so from 6 we have gone to 5 and then from 5 
again we are checking any any adjacent vertex of y which is not visited so 2 6 are visited 7 is still not visited so from 5 we have gone to 7 from 7 adjacent to 7 are 5 and 8 in which 5 is visited we have gone to 8 now adjacent of 8 are none so we have track by uh, back track to 7 back track to 5 back track to 2 now adjacent of 2 which is not visited 9 is there so 9 adjacent of 9 11 adjacent of 11 10 now adjacent of 10 which is not visited no there is no such adjacent of 10 so back track to 11 back track to 9 back track to 2 back track to 4 back track to 0 back track to 1 back track to 0 so in depth first search what we are doing from a starting vertex we are going to the depth of that particular vertex from then the depth of that particular vertex we are going depth of other vertex like this we are going in a depth first motion so this is known as depth first traverse let's talk about the dfs algorithm we will be for dfs for implementing depth first search we will be requiring a stack data structure and the size of that is that particular stack will be the total number of vertices present in the graph max size will be total number of vertices maybe depending on the graph max size is not used maybe it is used now we need to select any vertex as a starting point for the traversal we will be visiting that particular vertex and then we will push it onto the stack then visit any one of the non visited adjacent vertices of a vertex which is at the top of the stack and again we will push it onto the stack we will be repeating this stack until there is no new vertex to be visited from the vertex which is at the top of the stack when there is no new vertex to visit then use backtracking for backtracking what we are doing we are popping one vertex from the stack we will be repeating this step 3 4 and 5 until the stack becomes empty and when stack becomes empty then we will be producing the final spanning tree by removing unused edge from the graph this final spanning tree will be giving us what depth first traversal 0 1 4 2 5 6 7 8 9 11 10 10. this is what depth first traversal okay so uh, let's take an example and understand this particular algorithm more clearly we have taking this graph for performing depth first traversal we have taken a stack of size equal to the number of vertices present in the graph 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 7 we have selected vertex a as a starting point and pushed to vertex a onto the stack as we have taking this as a starting point we have taken visit a means we have already visited this vertical of vertex a we have started with the vertex a we have visited a for visiting we can also take an array data structure the size of this visited array will be same as the number of vertices present in the graph and currently we can take the values for all the visited as zero and as vertex gets visited we will make visited of particular that vertex as one to make uh, to ensure that uh, this particular vertex is visited okay so now we have made visited a as uh, one and pushed a onto the stack now next step is saying step number 3 step 2 is completed step 3 visit any one of the non visited adjacent vertex of a vertex which is at the top of the stack and push it onto the stack so what we will be doing we will be taking any vertex which is uh, adjacent to a and is not visited so the vertex which are adjacent to a are b e and d so we can take any one of this vertex which is not visited and then push it onto the stack so i have taken the vertex b okay so now b i have taken i have made this uh, I, we have taken b as it was not visited now push newly visited vertex b onto the stack we have made b as visited and we have pushed onto the stack now we will be repeating this particular step until we get no uh, any vertex which does not have any new adjacent vertex which is not visited so from b 
again we have taken b any adjacent vertex of b which is not visited adjacent vertex of b are a e and c in which e and c are not visited so i have taken c as the next vertex and pushed on to the star now we will be taking c adjacent vertex of c which are not visited adjacent of c are b e f and g in which e f g are not visited so next i have taken e so i have pushed e on to the star now adjacent of e which are not visited so adjacent of e are d a b c and f in which d and f are not visited so i have taken d now adjacent vertex of d which are not visited adjacent of d are a and e both are visited so if all the adjacent vertex of d are visited then what we will be doing we will be popping d from d we will be there is no new vertex to be visited from d so use backtrack we will be popping d from star we have popped d from star now e we are again on top of the stack is e adjacent vertex of e which is not visited we have f so we have pushed f on to the stack we have pushed f on to the stack okay now adjacent of f which is not visited adjacent of f which is not visited is c so we have pushed g on to the stack adjacent of g which is not visited but all the vertices of edges which are adjacent to g are visited there is no new vertex to be visited from c g so we have used backtrack we have popped g now from f there is no new vertex which uh, to be visited from f so we have used backtrack and pop f now top of the stack is e there is no new vertex to be visited from e so again we have used backtrack pop the e from the stack next top of the stack was c no new with new uh, vertex was there so we have backtracked and pop c from the stack now the top of the stack is b there is no new vertex to be visited from the b so we have backtracked and pop b from the stack now the top of this stack is a there is no new vertex a which is to be visited from uh, this particular vertex we have backtracked and pop a from the stack now the stack is empty so stop the dfs traversal and final result of dfs traversal is the following spanning tree as we have visited the array a b c e d f g so this is the final dfs traversal okay the sequence in which the nodes were visited that particular sequence is called as a dfs traversal now this dfs traversal may produce more than one uh, sequence as there can be more than one nodes which are not visited and are adjacent to a particular node so there can be more than one dfs sequence more than one dfs traversal for a particular graph okay next we talk about the pseudo code of a dfs algorithm we have a, a graph as an input for dfs we take stack s the size of this particular stack will be the number of vertices present in the array for visited and unvisited we can take an array of uh, size uh, which will be equal to the number of vertices present in the graph integer x for an element now while g has unvisited node x and uh, when g have any unvisited node x what we are doing we are making that particular node x as visited and we are pushing that x into a star and until an unlex stack is empty we are performing these operation what operation we are uh, taking the top of the stack uh, vertex in t and if t has any unvisited neighbor y any unvisited neighbor a neighbor means adjacent nodes if it has any uh, any unvisited adjacent vertices then we are making that particular vertex as visit and we are pushing that particular in the top of the stack and if it does not have if all the vertices of the that particular if all the adjacent vertices of that particular vertex are visited in that case we will be popping we will be backtracking we will be popping that particular uh, element from the top of the stack okay 
so this is the procedure for performing the depth first search traversal key points are depth first search traversal is using stack as a data structure to implement next is it can have more than one output based on the which particular sequence you have chosen as a particular vertex can have more than one vertex as adjacent vertices which are not visited if we talk about this example only then in this particular example other sequence can be a d e b c f g one sequence can be a c g, a b c g f e d all right so more than one sequence dfs traversal are possible for a single graph based on which sequence you have taken the unvisited adjacent vertices so this is depth first search traversal thank you